Hello and welcome everyone to this video. In this, what we are going to look at is CAT 2025 exam slot one. Uh, this is my first impression. I had taken the paper this morning and uh, I had taken the paper in Chennai on, uh, uh, you know, uh, Minakshi Engineering College and it was very well conducted paper. Uh, there were absolutely no problems in terms of reaching out to the center, in terms of trying to figure out where the lab will be. The authorities were pretty helpful. The environment was uh, was perfect and the cleanliness was also uh, up to the mark. So absolutely no problem in terms of the conduct of the paper. In this video, what we are going to look at is the first impression. I'll take you through each of these sections and tell you what is my opinion on this and in terms of the difficulty levels and in terms of if I compare this particular paper with respect to the last year's paper, how I feel uh, about this particular paper. At the end of this video, I will try to make an attempt to look at in this particular paper, where should be a 99 percentile on each of the three sections and overall. But my strongest of recommendation for anyone who is looking at this particular video before getting into their examination must not look at this video. This video is not for you. I don't want to color your opinion about the paper and give you certain number of questions that you need to attempt in order to get XYZ percentile. I don't want to do that. Right. So let's move on and look at this particular paper. First, the construct of the paper was absolutely similar as that of the last year, so absolutely no surprises there and I really like the fact that they did not play around with the paper much because that adds to the anxiety level of the students and I don't want students to be really anxious before they get into the paper about the construct of the paper. Of course, you will be anxious about your performance. Now, verbal ability and reading comprehension had 24 questions with 16 reading comprehension question and 8 verbal ability based question as usual, but there was a comeback made by parajumbal questions and there were two parajumbal questions, two odd parajumbal questions, there were two fill in the blank questions and there were two para summary based questions. Logical reasoning had in effect 22 questions, five sets, two sets having five questions each and three sets having four questions each. So all in all 22 questions were there. Quantitative ability section again 22 questions spread across arithmetic, algebra, geometry, number system and permutations and combination. Now let's look at the first section which is your verbal ability and reading comprehension section. There were four reading comprehension passages. There was the first reading comprehension passages or passage on complex systems where a lot of statistical understanding if a student has got then they'll be able to better perform on this reading comprehension because there was a mention of normal distribution there, there was a mention of you know tailed outcomes and the second tail uh, that happens and the outcome of the second tail is impacted by the occurrence of the first tail and all of that study was are moving around understanding that curve and what happens uh, if there was a prior event and if it was not there then how does the outcome behaves right so a bit of difficult read to my mind it was not very easy for somebody who is not well versed with the topic so i will say that this was a slightly more difficult read in comparison to the other three reads the second uh, reading comprehension was talking about sanity, mental health and legal cases, uh, you know, combined all three together. Uh, it was an interesting read. It, it, it made us understand that uh, in the 19th century, uh, how would court cases try to judge the, uh, you know, mental health or uh, sanity or insanity of uh, the defendant. And uh, it was a nice read, slightly more dense in comparison to the next two reading comprehensions that I'm going to talk about. But still, it was an interesting read. Anyone could have related with that particular, uh, you know, subject. So I would say that it was easy to moderate read. The income inequality was the third topic for the reading comprehension. Now they were talking about in income inequality in relation with the growth that you see as far as the nations are concerned. Now, there were different studies cited. There was contradicting uh, studies cited. There were studies which were talking about, um, you know, how income inequality has got a direct relation with a direct correlation with the growth of the nation. And um, there, there were some studies which suggest that on a short term, there is a direct relation on a medium term, there is a direct relation, but on a long term, there is absolutely no relation or a negative correlation. All of that was discussed. Uh, it was fairly easy read. It was not very difficult to read that particular passage. But again, when the passage turns out to be on an easier side to read, Typically, the question turns out to be difficult to figure out because the options turns out to be close enough to each other. 
now the fourth reading comprehension was talking about electronic music and the opinions around it that uh, you know contemporaries that there's some set of musicians who feel very strongly against electronic music there's some set of uh, you know um, musicians who feel more comfortable uh, with respect to the electronic music there were questions around whether you call this as music or not whether uh, you know there is a human element attached to it or not all of that was discussed in that reading comprehension again uh, you don't require a prior knowledge to go through this particular reading comprehension and to my mind it was easy to moderate read again the questions now let's talk about the questions of reading comprehension reading comprehension questions uh, were, were very similar to what we had seen previously there were uh, three sort of uh, you know critical reasoning kind of questions spread across these reading comprehensions the one thing that i felt on this particular uh, reading uh, reading comprehension uh, paper was that the options were slightly more lengthy to read and i'm not sure if i am the only one feeling that but i genuinely feel that the options were made slightly more longer and it will require a little more time for you to read uh, those options and uh, you know figure out and sometimes when you don't relate with the topic it becomes very difficult to go through each of these options so that's what the challenge was on the reading comprehension part of the paper verbal ability had two fill in the blank two odd parajumbal two para summary and two uh, pure parajumbal based questions fill in the blank one of these fill in the blank was difficult to figure out but the other uh, other fill in the blank was easy same was with odd parajumbal one was uh, an obvious outcome and the second one was slightly more tricky to figure it out uh, two para summary one was easy again one was moderate and two para jumbles we cannot really call it whether it was difficult or easy because typically i don't get along well with para jumbles and i don't understand the theory behind asking this particular piece so to my mind verbal ability and reading comprehension section in comparison to the last year's paper was slightly more on a difficult and a longer read uh, but it is not way far in comparison to the difficulty level of the last year's paper so i believe that the scores and percentiles will not change much as far as vrc section is concerned now let's look at the logical reasoning and data interpretation part of this paper you had a set which had import and export which was discussed it was um, it, it was you know uh, something that we have been coming across for quite some time in international politics where you have import import duties being applied and all of that so there were five of these nations which were transacting with each other there were two of the graphs which were given to you in the first graph they had explained how much is the import tariff being applied by a particular company on another company and then there was another bar graph given in terms of what is the uh, import taxes being collected by each of these countries with respect to another country it was percentages based um, di set i believe it was pretty doable uh, di set it was my first pick after going through all five um, lrdi set and i believe anyone who would have picked this up would have easily concluded it in about 8 to 10 minutes of time right the only thing that you need to understand is what do you call it as surplus and what do you call it as trade deficit so if you are comfortable with that particular terminology it will you will not find this particular piece as a difficult one the second easiest out of the lot i believe was the uh, set where train tickets and occupancy was there uh, where they had five stations a to e the train is traveling from a to e there were 200 set 200 seats at any given point in time they were talking about occupancy rate of uh, between each of these uh, you know stretch of uh, travels and some of the uh, clues given to you were very helpful like for example there was a clue given where they had, uh, they had said that you know tickets can only be booked in the multiples of 10 so that throws out everything else uh, you know which is not a multiple of 10 as the occupancy and then that helps you solve the entire uh, di set comfortably so it was not big numbers to be dealt with first two of these uh, di sets i believe that the numbers were not too difficult to deal with but an understanding of numbers had to be there the third um, lrdi set was based on a game which was being played where uh, five of these individuals were asking questions to others and you could answer it as yes no and maybe uh, a single tap is yes a double tap is no and a, a triple tap is turning out to be a maybe option and 
then there were clues given around this you will have to figure it out uh, clues such as you know total number of taps that uh, that took place the number of rounds the number of questions and all of that this was again a doable set but a uh, quite a lengthy set to my mind because you will have to do quite a lot of iterations next was a circular table arrangement with seven chairs being given to you four individuals sitting around these uh, with some of the places being vacant they are moving in the clockwise anti clockwise in five of the rounds that they are talking about and after each of these rounds you will have to iterate you don't know from where exactly they are starting so again a slightly more difficult calculation or or probably you know time consuming set i would call this as the last set was uh, six individuals in two groups and there was a quarterly movement so there are six uh, individuals in a particular uh, organization and they have been divided into two groups their performances have been rated as 1 2 and 3 in every quarter and once the quarter ends you figure out the cumulative rating of all of these uh, individuals and there is a movement that takes place from one team to another team the last person on the first team moves to the next one and the first person on one of these teams goes on to the second um, you know group so that kind of a set was there the the thing that makes this particular set slightly more difficult is after every quarter you will have to look at the movement of each and every individual you will have to cumulatively understand what are their scores and that is what makes this particular set slightly more difficult now to my mind on lrdi i believe that there were first two lrdi sets that we have spoken about in this video which is your import export and train tickets and occupancy were pretty doable sets and anyone who could complete these two sets uh, should find themselves in a in a comfortable position uh, to you know get a very good uh, percentile on this particular paper three sets were difficult to achieve on this particular paper now as far as the difficulty level in comparison to last year's paper is concerned i believe that this was slightly more difficult paper as far as lrda section is concerned in comparison to the last year paper why am i saying that because set selection in this particular paper will turn out to be challenging if somebody has gotten into a wrong set you will find yourself losing a lot of time wherein if i compare it with the last year's paper I found that the last year five sets all five sets were more or less similar difficulty level and doable if not all five I will call at least 3 to 4 out of those sets were very doable so whichever set you pick up you will find you will be able to solve that particular set and hence this year's paper was not at least the first slot was not similar to the last year's paper and was slightly more on a difficult side the set selection will turn out to be difficult and somebody who ends up taking a wrong set will lose a lot of time and hence the percentiles will be higher at a lower score for this particular paper in comparison to the last year's paper let's now quickly move on to quantitative ability section there were about 9 to 10 arithmetic based questions now understand this thing that the arithmetic based questions were uh very familiar questions the topics were very familiar but the problem with these questions were that they were slightly more calculation intensive so so i understand that there was you know there was one question where you had a particular number raised to the power of 4 multiplied by another four digit number minus another four digit number that kind of a calculation you need your calculators to be there right there were several other questions where calculator would have come in very handy and that is why i am saying that the topics were from familiar zones so you had questions coming from profit loss discount markup kind of a question was there then there was a question on simple interest compound interest then there were questions on ratios and averages mixtures and solution a sitter was there uh, you know for somebody who has studied that particular topic exhaustively you will find a sitter was there from mixtures and solution there were questions from time and work there was probably a question on time speed and distance if my memory serves me right so this particular piece we need to understand that it was time consuming i would say but it was very doable there was no surprises on this particular paper and that is precisely something that i mentioned at the beginning of this video that i really liked that it it takes uncertainty out of the equation your algebra based questions also were not very very challenging in terms of having lengthier solutions or you need to know great things before you get into these algebra questions it was not that case these were very simple linear equation based questions these were questions based on log if you understand the basics of log uh you know pretty much you will be able to solve that particular piece you need to uh you had questions based on inequalities there you had questions based on quadratic equation there which were which was something which any student who has prepared 
should be able to get through that particular piece because there were the the questions were from very basic ideas and not uh, very difficult ideas surrounding the topic so i believe again algebra was not a very difficult nut to crack uh, somebody who was prepared should be able to uh, do well on algebra as a piece as well there were three questions on geometry one was coordinate geometry and others other two were pure geometry based questions uh, the more i discuss it with the students and the more i had a conversation with varun i realized that there was there was some problem in terms of framing of these geometry questions and uh, more on this is something that we can discuss once the uh, paper comes out but uh, geometry questions were not easy to comprehend they were slightly more challenging questions there was one question on which had coordinates given to you that particular question was on an easier side but the other two questions were slightly more challenging there was one question from number system which had which had factors uh, involved in it that was a moderate to slightly more difficult kind of a question but and, and number system happens to be one of those topics where which less students pursue in their preparation and hence um, i call it as moderate to difficult there was one permutations and combination based question which was quite doable to my mind somebody who's targeting uh, permutations and combination should be able to get through that particular question so all in all if i compare this particular paper as far as the qa section is concerned in comparison to the last year's paper i find there was slightly more uh, you know sitters available on this particular paper but i would not say that this paper was more difficult in comparison to the last year's paper purely looking at the quality of the questions so i don't think there will be much deviation in terms of percentiles and scores in comparison to the last year's paper uh, story remains pretty much similar as that of the last two sections over here as well that pretty standard paper in comparison to what was served last year and i don't think that the percentiles will change now let's come to understanding where does the 99th percentile lie uh, for the scores versus percentile now of course it depends upon the difficulty level of the next two slots but if i have to just take an initial bet for this particular paper i would say vrc should be at a 42 plus should be a 99 percentile now why am i calling it as 42 plus the uh, the paper quality remains pretty much similar as that of the previous year as that of the last year that means that the 99 percentile should be in and around that particular score and that score remains at about between 40 to 42 it can give and take uh, a one or two here and there that is all what 99 percentile should be logical reasoning we believe was touch difficult than last year and hence about a eight questions to nine questions correct will stand a very good chance of getting a 99 percentile as far as your qa section is concerned i believe a 99 percentile will be able to attempt about 12 to 13 questions on the paper and with one or two questions being wrong about a score of 32 33 34 should be in a very good place to get a 99 percentile overall we believe at about a 90 plus on uh, this particular paper should be a 99 percentile now stay tuned to stay tuned to uh, grad squad channel and we will come up with a detailed analysis for slot 2 as well as slot 3 and uh, late in the night we will come up with an, a comprehensive discussion around cat 25 paper including all three uh, you know slots of the day so let's wait for the other two slots to play out and then we will discuss it overall Wish you all the best once again for CAT 2025. See you again in the evening video.